Okay, we good? I got seven o'clock. <clears throat> I have seven o'clock, so we're going to call the meeting of the borough commissioners done remotely. Uh, I'm going to call it to order. Uh, if we could start out with a pledge of allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which, for which it, stands, it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. For all. Okay, uh, the boroughs complied with the notice provisions of the Sunshine Law by adopting prior to January 10th of this year a resolution prescribing the dates, times, and locations of all regular meetings of the Commission. This meeting is one of the meetings listed in such resolution, and copies of the resolution were prior to January 10th filed with the borough clerk. And this uh, meeting has been appropriately noticed as a remote meeting under the terms of the governor's emergency. Um, orders during this pandemic. Um, okay, Hall? I need a motion to file the following report to Municipal Court Tax Collection and Zoning Official. I'll make a motion. Second. second. Okay, we have the second reading and public hearing of Ordinance 1685, amending Ordinance Number 1245, implementing a redevelopment plan for the Central Haddon Avenue redevelopment plan. And this is the property um, that's related to the um, medical spa. Um, this, is, um, this is this redevelopment plan amendment uh, perm permits the use under our zoning now at this, this specific property of a medical spa use. Uh, this is the public hearing on this ordinance. Uh, anyone that would like to be heard on it, this is your opportunity to do so. If you would like to, um, if you raise your hand, uh, I think I'm pretty sure I can recognize you if you would like to speak. Okay, not seeing anybody, Holly? Mayor Maley? Yes. Commissioner Leonard? Yes. And Commissioner Lewandowski? Yes. Okay, we have the second reading and public hearing of Ordinance 1686. Amending the Borough of Collings for Redevelopment Plan for the property located at 807, 809 Haddon Avenue. So this again is, is, is affecting the zoning at this particular property, which is now permitting um, a use as a coffee, um, a coffee retail and a roasting. Uh, there's another business in town that's looking to move into that. Um, all the other zoning laws still apply. This is just simply saying that the use is, per, is permitted here. Um, to the extent that it's a change of use, as Joan and I talked earlier, if it's a change of use, it goes through all the same process for site plan, nothing changes. This just allows this use to be at that property. Um, this is the public hearing on that, uh, that ordinance. If anybody would like to be heard on it, this is your opportunity to do so. If you could raise your hand, um, that would be a great way for us to um, see. I don't see anyone. So, uh, Hal, go ahead. Mayor Malley? Yes. Commissioner Leonard? Yes. Commissioner Lewandowski? Yes. Okay. And we have the first reading of salary ordinance 1687. Um, this is setting um, ranges for a couple different sal uh, a couple different positions that we'll be making appointments to um, uh, just in a little bit in the resolutions that are coming up. Um, this is the first reading of it. The second reading uh, and public hearing will be at our September 8th meeting. Um, okay, Hal? Uh, Mayor Malley? Yes. Commissioner, Le Commissioner Leonard? Yes. Commissioner Lewandowski? Yes. Okay, we have the first reading of Ordinance 1688, amending the Borough of Collingswood Redevelopment Plan for the property located at 641 Haddon Avenue. So this is the property um, that's the war former war Warner lot. It's the property that is the parking lot right next to Groove Ground. Uh, the planning board of this last meeting approved a subdivision of that lot. Uh, we've talked about this a little bit before. We're, we're splitting that lot in half so that the front half of uh, the borough will work to make into a pocket park. 
and the back half of that, the building that is there, uh, is going to be um, sold and developed um, for um, for a wood fired kind of gourmet. As a chef coming in, pizza, Italian place there, um, and this is uh, similar to the others. It's making to the others we just did. It's making some uh, zoning changes. Most of these zoning changes are necessitated by the fact that we've created a smaller than um, usual lot. So a lot of our regular zoning provisions don't apply the same here. Um, so it'll be making changes to that. The public hearing on this will be at our September 8th meeting as well. Okay, um, Holly? Mayor Maley? Yes. Commissioner Leonard? Yes. Commissioner Lewandowski? Yes. Okay. How let's do, oh, so we're gonna do resolutions. So let me open it up. Any public comment on the resolutions that are scheduled? Anyone want to bring anything before the commission before we do that? <clears throat> I apologize. I just hit recording. Okay. A little late with that. Uh, all right. Let me get back here. All right. I don't see anyone. Um, so Holly, um, Holly, let's do the appointments, the first group of appointments, just do them, do them all together. Okay. For the following appointments, Cassandra Duffy is Borough Administrator, Rebecca Callaway is Director of Business Development, Dawn Marie Baselli as Director of Community Development, Michael DePalma is Fire Code Sub-Official and Inspector, George Schroeder is member of the Shade Tree Commission, and Ronald Morsey is full-time police officer for the Borough of Collingswood. So let me address a couple of these going up from the bottom. Ronald Morsey has been a classical officer uh, for the Borough for a, a, a while now. Uh, we're happy to welcome, all, welcome him onto the force. Um, the, um, the, the trio of Cassandra, Rebecca, and Dawn um, are all necessitated. Um, our Borough Administrator, Keith Hastings, is retiring soon. Um, as we've mentioned before, Keith is retiring and going out during a pandemic. He <laughs> came on in the midst of a hurricane, uh, in the midst of uh, earthquakes and Sandy. Um, but uh, we're <laughs> we think we think once we get him out, everything will calm down. Now Keith is going to be retiring. We'll be talking more about that in the meetings to come. But we're happy to to welcome uh, Cassandra on board and her. Um, the, the team that's going to be working around her, um, Rebecca and Dawn. Uh, Rebecca has been doing a lot of work with the borough uh, over the last couple of years, and we're happy to move her into this position. And Dawn uh, Marie um, Baselli is a uh, is a newcomer. Uh, she has experience with a lot of other towns, and we're hoping she's going to do um, great things for us in, in our community development department. Um, okay, that, so there are appointments. Yes. The yes. Resolution. Yes. Yep. Okay, thank you. Authorizing Ordinance 1688 to be referred to the Collins and Planning Board for review. So this is simply sending the redevelopment plan ordinance about the Warner lot to the Planning Board for them to take a look at. Yes. 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 Authorizing release of maintenance bond guarantee for 2327 Cuthbert Boulevard. So this would be part of a land use approvals that the time period has passed for the maintenance bond uh, for a project um, and the engineers have recommended that we re release this maintenance bond. Uh, yes. 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 <clears throat> Authorizing a lien certification for 328 Harvard, 1113 Stokes Avenue and 212 Whitehorse Pike. Uh, yes. These are all, these are, yeah, yes. These are all related yes. to um, property maintenance issues. Yes. Yes. Refund of tax and overpayment for 723 Eldridge Avenue. That's um, pretty self-explanatory, yes. Yes. Accepting the Safe and Secure Community Grant. This is uh, funding that we uh, receive, uh, I'm pretty sure it's through the federal government that is all tied to, to um, helping us maintain our uh, level of police officers. Uh, it kind of started back in the days of the recession and it's, it's still in place to help us maintain the level of police officers. Yes. 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 
approving raffle license 2020-5 to the Children's Dyslexia Center? Yes. Yes. And authorizing the Borough of Collingswood to enter into a cooperative pricing agreement for solid waste disposal with the Cam County of Camden. So um, we talked about this briefly before the meeting officially started, uh, but we were here. This is uh, related to the, uh, the county organizing the, um, the towns to go out for uh, basically out the bid for uh, solid waste disposal in, um, in a group effort. So hoping that the greater volume of trash that we have um, gets us um, better disposal numbers, better tipping fee numbers. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, there's nothing, there's nothing on here for paying bills. Yes, I missed it. I'm sorry about that. Um, and we have a resolution for approving the payment of bills as presented by the treasurer. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Please pay our bills. We'll pay the bills. Okay. Um, Commissioner Lewandowski? Uh, no, I'm, I'm good, sir. You got it. Commissioner Leonard? I just want to thank everybody for helping the borough this summer during this pandemic, the people at the pool, the people in the downtown, all of our staff, people who help each other during this. Keep, keep up the good fight and let's keep protecting each other during this time and thank you to everybody. Uh, thanks to Keith Hastings, the first of many thank yous as he's heading out the door, running away. Um, <laughs> Not yet. Don't go. <laughs> thank you for, um, uh, for well, for one thing, for being prepared. But it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun overnight and through the day tomorrow. Cassandra, welcome aboard again. Mm -hmm. um, careful what you ask for. You might get it. Um, yeah. Okay. I want to open it up to the floor. If there's anyone that has anything they would like to bring before the commission, this is your opportunity to do so. Okay, um, Jen, I think I allowed you to talk. You have to unmute your, there you go. Got it. Jen Rossi, 114 East Palmer Avenue. I uh, wanted to ask if there was going to be more information available about the um, Police Chief Advisory Committee. Um, some, I know some uh, members of the community were interested in uh, possibly helping with that, including the Embracing Race Group. So the, the, the applications are available online. Um, and Chief Carey? So we've gotten a few applications in. Uh, we're still in the midst of forming our executive committee to start vetting those applications. So we might have four or five in, I think, at this point. OK, thank you. OK, it's available online, Jen, the application. Okay, yeah, I might send an email to see where that link is. I was having trouble finding it, but thank you. I'll send it to you tomorrow, Jen. Thank you, Chief Carey. You're welcome. Sure thing. Anyone else? I see that Dawn Baselli is here. Dawn, welcome aboard. We appointed. We're looking forward to having you here. Anyone else? Okay, well, the good news is Lewandowski can go get to his wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Barbara. Um, thank you all. Everybody be extra safe in the next 24 hours. It sounds like it's going to be a humdinger. Um, we are adjourned. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe.